insertarnos ¿no? en, la, en el nuevo desarrollo de, de la relación ciudadano-gobierno. Vemos en eventos como este de ICA que nuestros países miembros también de esta asociación eh, están muy avanzados en estos temas y bueno, nos gustaría llegar allá. ¿no? Como latinoamericanos yo creo que tenemos un reto enorme eh, porque el avance y la oportunidad es gigantesco. You know, this ICA conference, this is my third one, I think, yeah, third conference. And the beauty of this conference is that um, we get to know each other after a couple of years and people are very willing to share. You know, uh, the learnings are amazing because, um, you know, we can always learn from each other. And uh, over time, we find that people are very open. They talk about real things, real problems that's happening and how they've been solving these problems. So the ICA conference is very beneficial for us as a country because of the learning, learning process. The government CIO is sort of in the middle of two places. He's half 50% technology oriented, and the other half is being pushed into strategic planning for the agency, for all of its investments. And so it remains to be seen whether he leaves technology and becomes strictly strategic planning or whether the job merges into something different. One thing we know, the CIO job has been changing since we first implemented it in the 1990s, and it will probably continue to change. I think the technology has been fantastic. For example, we can contact almost any person anywhere in the world at any time of day. That's wonderful. Wonderful. We can do it by texting, or LinkedIn, Facebook, email. Wonderful. On the other hand, technology moves ahead and it creates benefits, but it also creates unintended consequences. And so I think the government needs to work closely with citizens to ensure that as the unintended consequences occur, that they're prepared to accept them and deal with them. Yeah.